My job is not typical, so my days are not typical. I travel from the end of August till the beginning of April almost every single weekend and throughout the week. It's become routine. I've been doing this now for 15 years. Um, I know what it takes to prepare, but it is, a, it is a constant challenge still. It's part of the job that I love. You're in a new place every single week. You're live in, at a game. You never know what's gonna happen. There's nothing routine about that. So once I actually get to my job, um, and actually, you know, that light goes on and we're on the air, there is nothing routine about it. It is just live television. So I was a tomboy growing up. I just loved playing sports. I loved being around sports, talking sports, watching sports. And I remember I was about eight or nine years old and I was watching the NBA Inside Stuff. And I said, you know what? I want to do that. And I never gave up. Uh, fortunately, I uh, was able to achieve that goal. But it took a very long time to get where I am. I did a lot of other things on the way, but I've always set a goal. I've always tried to achieve that goal. It started when I was young and wanted to get into this business. Uh, I knew what I wanted to do, and I was not going to back down no matter what. And certainly in this business, you cross a lot of paths that people want to knock you down or you face challenges in life or you don't succeed in something. And I think I just constantly reminded myself that I have this goal and I'm just going to pick myself back up and you got to keep on going. I think it's about being strong, staying strong, uh, being very versatile, being willing to do anything that's basically asked of you. If it means picking up someone's bag or if it means carrying cables or uh, going to get water, people water or coffee, um, you know, be open to it. If it means covering the rodeo, even though I don't understand anything about rodeo, I'm going to go research it and I'm going to go do it. And I think that's helped throughout my career. And I always joke, I say, don't be a diva, right? Just be yourself, be kind. It sounds so simple, but some people just don't understand that. And that's hard to be successful. If you aren't good to others, they won't be good to you. And I think to have longevity in my business or any business, just be a good person.